Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you about Facebook feedback scores and why it's so important to manage your Facebook feedback score so you don't ruin your chances of running Facebook ads later down in the future. Because if your Facebook feedback score drops too low, your CPMs are gonna rise, it's gonna get harder to acquire traffic and Facebook might even ban you. So guys, before you run any ads at all, it's so important to know what Facebook wants. And Facebook wants to promote quality ads on their platform, quality businesses, and a good experience for their users. They don't wanna sell Brad and Chad type products that are shitty quality, that have shitty shipping times, and they're just on the platform to make a quick buck. They don't like that. They want legitimate, sustainable brands on their platform. And if you're drop shipping, that's completely okay because you can find a good supplier with great quality products. So Facebook feedback scores. Let me tell you a little bit about this. The score that Facebook gives your Facebook page after running ads on Facebook. So after enough time, you're gonna run a couple ads and then Facebook will give you a feedback score and it's basically an incentive system. A good score, you get rewarded with low CPMs, better quality audiences, you get a bad feedback score and you're going to get penalized. High CPMs, lower quality audiences, lower quality traffic. So the worst case scenario, which is very common for new dropshippers because they don't know what the hell they're doing. They're not following policy. You can actually get your personal ad account banned and you can no longer use your Facebook to run ads. This is the worst case scenario because making new ads is so important to run your business, especially as big of a pillar Facebook is in the e-commerce world. I would say it's the top advertising platform and the best way to acquire new customers just based off the tools they give you to utilize. So you can get banned, you won't have the ability to make new ads, or you can have insanely high CPMs, which will probably kill your business because it'll be impossible to be profitable this way. So how it works, because I want to save your ad account. I want to make sure you have good CPMs and don't get banned. Facebook is going to survey your customers who buy from you after seeing your ad. Did you like this experience? Did you not? If the customer leaves bad feedback, your feedback score is going to lower. How is feedback score measured? Well, let me tell you, this is going to be measured by the customer experience because Facebook hates dropshippers who scam, as I already said. It makes Facebook look bad when you sell trash products, you have bad customer support and long shipping times. You wanna have good product quality, you wanna have good shipping speed, and you wanna have good customer support. Was your shipping speed accurate to what your website displays or was it 10 days late? These things are all going to affect your feedback score and whether it's gonna be good or bad. For your customer service, are you answering customers back quickly and thoroughly? Are you kind and helpful or are you an asshole to your customers? Please be the nice guy because it definitely counts. Four to five, you have good feedback. Three to four, average feedback. Two to three is poor, and this is a danger red zone. Three to four, it's it's okay. When it drops below three, your CPMs lower a lot. But if you're in the four to five range, your CPMs are gonna be really good. Good quality traffic is gonna come in, and you're probably gonna make a lot of good sales if your marketing is on point. One to two, you're under the penalty, and then zero to one, your ad account is disabled. So you can read all the text in between. You can stop this video, pause it, and just read it out. But maintaining a great feedback score, this is how you're gonna do it. So great quality products, get faster shipping times as soon as possible. You ideally want it to be under 12 days. That's going to be ideal. And you want to provide great customer support. Like if they have problems, solve them. They get trash quality products. Maybe it was an error. Send them a new one for free or something. Make your customers happy and you don't have to worry about these problems. A good feedback score will be in the green. This is a five. This is amazing. You have a high feedback score. You're going to get great CPMs, good quality traffic. It looks like this. you got to do something about it. And this is very bad. 1.8. Your business is on the way to becoming a failure. These are ongoing actions items, you should want to conduct a business ethically. Give your customers the best possible experience that they can ever have because they'll come back again and again. Sell the best products, have great shipping times, as good as you can get them, and the best customer support possible. You nail these three things, guys. You're going to make a lot of money. You'll have a successful business. And yo, if this video helped you out, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't already, click the link down below to get into our e-commerce Skype group. We talk about great topics in there. We go back and forth and we all grow together. So click the link down below if you want to join the Ecom Lord Skype group. But yo, I will see you in the next one, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, once again, like and subscribe, but peace.